dear students welcome to this pyq session now i'm going to deal a question from dc machines previous gate question i'm reading it out to conduct load test on a dc shunt motor it is coupled to a generator which is identical to the motor the field of the generator is also connected to the same supply source as the motor the armature of generator is connected to a load resistance armature resistance is 0.02 armature reaction and mechanical losses can be neglected with rated voltage across the motor the load resistance across the generator is adjusted to obtain rated armature current in both motor and generator the per unit value of this load resistance is in this question it is given mechanical losses as per the context you have to take it's it's like rotational losses because if you observe the power stage of a dc motor or a generator imagine if it is a motor electrical input we switch on the motor we apply a voltage v it will draw a current i so v into i is electrical input out of this electrical input some power will be lost in supplying all the copper losses i'm using our total total copper losses the remaining is power developed in the armature that is electrical equivalent of mechanical power developed electrical input is v into il then this eb into ia is mechanical power developed you can take it like that but all the mechanical power developed is not available across the shaft as mechanical output or shaft power or useful output because some power will be lost in overcoming the rotational losses rotation loss is a combination of mechanical plus iron loss in the armature that combination after supplying some rotational loss after consuming this part the remaining power is what is taken as shaft output or the ultimate output of the motor that output is given to a generator clearly given it is coupled to a generator motor coupled to a generator very identical both are the field of the generator is also connected to the same supply source as the motor same supply source as the motor so first i'll draw the figure as per the given question this is shunt motor circuit and field winding of the generator that is shunt generator is connected in motor circuit across the same voltage source right this is field of the generator and generator armature is connected to some load resistance this motor and the generator are mechanically coupled power developed in the motor armature eb into ia minus rotational loss 
that is the shaft output ultimate output of the motor is going as input to the generator as it is clearly given neglect mechanical losses in the sense the context of the question is important based on that if you neglect the rotational losses you can directly take eb into ia of the motor is output of the motor in the same way if you take generator power stage we apply mechanical input across the generator reverse then the mechanical input should supply all the rotational losses remaining power is taken as power generated in the armature eg into ia generated power just come reverse way which means if you ignore rotational losses in generator also obviously what happens is eb into ia is power generated in the motor eg into ia is power generated in the generator if you ignore rotational losses automatically eb into ia is output of the generator which is going as input of the generator and the power generated in the armature can be taken as eg into ia directly neglecting all the rotational losses in the generator so the context of this question is clearly you can take eb into ia is equal to eg into ia actually eb into ia is psh across the generator that minus rotational losses of the generator is equal to power generated in the generator actually speaking but as it is given you can neglect the rotational loss you can directly take like that from this you can solve the question easily so the question is solved in per unit which is easiest way because everything is communicated to you in per unit see resistance is given in 0.02 per unit as well as if you see voltage voltage rated voltage across the motor is given so you can take v as 1 per unit if you are solving a question in per unit you can take v as 1 per unit if it is rated voltage you can take ia as 1 per unit if it is rated armature current or rated current drawn by the motor if it is mentioned like that that makes the question simple easier so first armature reaction mechanical loss neglected with rated voltage applied here v rated is applied i am taking 1 per unit then what is eb you know eb is v minus ia ra observe carefully one important line here rated armature current rated armature current in both motor and generator which means ia one per unit you can take here ia one per unit you can take here v one per unit you can take and armature resistance 0 0.02 both are identical so Zero point zero two per unit, zero point zero two per unit armature resistances. So what we can write here is E B is equal to one minus I A one per unit into zero point zero two. This is equal to zero point nine eight per unit. What is zero point nine eight per unit? E B is zero point nine eight per unit, which means power developed or power output of the motor mechanical power developed or power output of the generator is eb into ia is 0 0.98 per unit 0 0.98 per unit is supplied across the generator which is eg into ia this is 0 0.98 per unit as it is mentioned ia1 per unit ia1 per unit we can take eb is equal to eg is equal to 0 0.98 per unit since ia is 1 per unit 
because ia is one per unit you can directly take like that now you know eg eg in per unit wise 0.98 per unit you know eg minus 0.98 per unit ia ra is equal to v in generator so conclusion is eg 0.98 minus ia 1 0.02 you know ia is equal to il when you say ia is equal to il v is equal to 0.961 per unit il is 1 per unit That's the answer. V by I is nothing but load resistance R. So V by I L is R L. So automatically you can say 0.96 by 1 is nothing but 0.96 per unit.